Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Robot uh, War Z. Now, to get the SR point in this stage, you need to clear the map within 6 turns. Clear the map. You don't have to kill every single enemy. When I was going through the stage, I thought I had to kill every single enemy. And you'll soon realize that that isn't exactly possible. Just because of the amount of uh, enemy bosses that appear. Now, what you have to do is you have to destroy all of the... Um, I don't know the exact unit's name, but we'll see them right at the beginning. After you destroy, well, after you destroy most of them, um, the, uh, what is it? The Gundams that got stolen, um, will appear. And, uh, along with Neo, and another warship, and then eventually Butcher will appear. But, um... As well as another unit called that uh, I know the pilot's name, which is Sato. And uh, Sato is very important here. You have to destroy him with Alex, aka Athron here, um, to get his AF point. As well, you make sure you destroy Butcher when he appears as well. So, the yes, SR point is clear the map within six turns have Alex, well that, that's the SR point, now to get these some secrets, have Alex, Athron, destroy Sato, um, if you destroy Lila's Goblity Beta, then you can get an attack for the Gundam Mark II early, he'll get it once the stage is complete, but uh, you can get it early, and um, to get 5 Aki points here, destroy Butcher, doesn't matter who you destroy him with, but destroy Butcher. But uh, yeah, you see those units over there, you have to destroy all of them to clear the map. So after you destroy these guys, um, Sato will appear. And um, destroy, you have to destroy Sato with Alex, and I recommend you save your spirits uh, with Alex or Athron. I think he's known as Alex right now, because he hasn't revealed himself as Athron yet, but... So I'll call him Alex for now. Eh, I'll, call, I'll call him Athron. So, yeah, Athron. Um, he's he's not piloting, um, was it the Justice? He's piloting that, uh, unit, uh, that he had, uh, earlier in the game. I don't, I don't remember the unit's name. And, um, Sato has very high, uh, evade, so it's gonna be very hard to hit him. I was lucky and I was able to hit him with 35% accuracy, but, uh, I recommend you weaken Sato with other units, and then when he has like under 500 HP is when you attack him with uh, Alex. Or you use a spirit to have a better accuracy. That's what I did anyway. Although, well, partially what I did, I didn't have uh, any spirits and I just got lucky. So I do recommend uh, quick saving. Probably. Preferably at the start of every turn, if you feel comfortable saving at that point. Because I did have a few... Not a few game overs. Um, I had... What is it? Obvious mistakes that wouldn't let me get the SR point. The first one was destroying Sato, and then I didn't realize that... Would, but first I didn't realize um, that, well, killing Sato would uh, end the stage, but it does. And I got the SR point, but I didn't defeat Butcher, so I had to reload a save so I could actually beat Butcher. Now, I, I highly recommend you defeat Butcher in this stage. While you can get enough points by going through a specific route later in the game to uh, unlock the Aki secret, you'll be locking yourself out of other secrets. So uh, I wouldn't. Re I, I would recommend getting all the butcher points here. Well, getting five of the butcher points here. After this stage, you ha you should have six butcher points. Anyway, those guys will the, the guys that appear. They're they're enemies, but they will also attack um, the units we were just attacking. So this is a. Uh, so there are three different enemy forces in this battle. 
Well, four if you include Butcher, but I don't know if Butcher will actually uh, attack those guys. No, wait, he will. Butcher will. So yeah, Butcher's... There's four enemy forces here. Because I, I recall them going to attack a Butcher unit. I don't recall if it will show here, but yeah, they're, everybody's an enemy here. Even the enemy units. And um, let me make sure here of how many Aki points you need. Let's see. You need... I'll only talk about Tetsuko. I won't talk about the Rand route, but with Tetsuko here, which is, you know, the character I'm playing as, we need seven Aki points at the start of Scenario 42. If at the start of Scenario 42 you have at least seven Aki points. So yeah, after this stage, we'll have six. We should have we should have six. So uh, yeah, there's only a few other little requirements we need to do, and then we can get a uh, seven. Actually, we only need, technically need to do another one, but uh, one more. Yeah, we only need to do one more to get that secret. But, um, if there's, uh, if, if I have enough points, but uh, I can still get more points, then I'll do that just for the sake of showing it off, if I can. Um, but is this our first Zayath point that we can get here? Could have gotten one earlier. No, we, we got the, we got our first one when we chose to subdue the hijacked Gundams at uh, stage two. So we can get our second one here, and we need so we need nine plus Zayath point. Or 7 plus Zayath points and 36 plus SR points to take the Zayath throw on the first playthrough. The requirements are a little bit different on a second playthrough. Yeah, on a second playthrough, from what I'm reading here, you need at least 10 uh, plus Zayath points and 36 plus SR points. Hang on, what is this? Actually, I'm not entirely too sure. Oh no, if you have 10 plus AF points and 36 plus SR points, you will have the choice to choose between the two routes. Otherwise, if you have 9 plus AF points or 7 plus AF points and 36 plus SR points, you'll automatically take this AF route, from what I understand here. But, uh, otherwise... So yeah, on a first playthrough, you need at least 7 plus AF points and 36 plus SR points, otherwise you need set 9 Zayath points, and we're on a first playthrough, so I won't talk about uh, being on a second playthrough. Because I'm not entirely sure on that, because uh, it says, what is it, from what I'm reading, it says 10 plus Zayath points and a certain amount of SR points, and then in parentheses, or if you're on a second playthrough, so I'm not entirely sure what that first thing is. So I think what it's saying is that, um, if you, if you uh, have uh, 10 plus AF points and a bunch of SR points, you can choose which route you want on a first playthrough. So, uh, well, we'll see. Because um, either... Because if we do get 10 plus... Uh, Zayath points, then uh, we, we'll see if it gives us a choice. If it doesn't, then um, I'm not entirely sure what, talk, what it's talking about then. Because otherwise, from what I understand, it should just take us straight on the Zayath path if we have less than 10 uh, SR points. Well, Zayath points. But yeah, SR points are, in this game, are more important than they were in Z2, because in Z2 they did absolutely nothing. And, um... In Z3, they don't do much either. They're just uh, they an extra thing you can get. So, 
So yeah, they're much more important um, and related to secrets in this game. Which I like. So I do plan on getting all of the SR points. Hey, it's these guys. Um, don't send these guys towards the, uh... Only, se only send these, uh, these guys towards the butcher units. Don't, don't bother sending them towards the, the other ones. Well, you can have them destroy, you know, the enemy units close to them, but, uh, have them go towards butcher. Because butcher has a bunch of HP, and, uh, you need to make sure that you can destroy him and Sato. Um, on this on on the sixth turn, you can do it before then, but that's the final turn you have to defeat Butcher and uh, defeat Sato. And I peek there for some reason. I wasn't speaking any louder, but yeah, I think I need to get a new mic eventually. But unfortunately, I don't have the money for that right now. But yeah, this is the stage I didn't remember at all during my uh, playthrough of this stage. I didn't remember the stage at all. I had no memory of it. Although I do remember the stage, the two stages after this one, which I found kind of odd. Well, I actually remembered a few stages after this one, I just didn't remember this one at all. But yeah. Um, you're going to see a few cuts here, as, as I previously mentioned. Did I mention it? Well, I'll mention it again. I do I do have to load a few times. Yeah, I did mention but I, I will have to load a few times in this, in this stage. It's, I did have to load a quick save a few times. Um, I don't know what the shortcut is to actually go back to the title screen in this game. So I just, you know, reset the PS2 when I do that. So there probably is like a like a shortcut button combination shortcut, but uh, I don't know what that I don't know what that is. Although I think I said keyboard shortcut by accident earlier. But anyway, that's Sato there. Make sure you destroy him with Alex, which is the unit that just appeared outside of the Minerva. I believe in the Sea Destiny anime uh, Shin killed Sato, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Either way, have Athron, Alex, whatever you want to call him, defeat Sato. Oh yeah, don't... Actually, a few of my... I actually did have a few game overs from this Gundam. Uh, was it the Impulse Gundam? Uh, getting shot down. And I switched to Ray, and Ray actually evaded almost every attack that uh, was aimed at him. So, uh, once... Uh, if, if the Impulse Gundam gets low on HP, Switch to another unit in your squad. Make another unit the leader. Preferably Ray, because I had the most luck with Ray. Sorry about that, I just received a phone call from a phone number I didn't recognize, so uh, I declined that call.
I'm still getting used to the um, squad mechanics in this game, so I may not be using them as well as I should be. I know I'm not, because I should be using more uh, attacks that hurt all of the all of the enemy units instead of just one, like those try attacks. But uh, yeah. So uh, it may take me a while before I get fully used to these squad mechanics. Or yeah, I'll call them squads. Now, if you're wondering who uh, Butcher was, he was that big unit that appeared along with these guys here. And he has a bunch of HP. I think he has 20,000, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that was Butcher that I just passed by. He looks way different than the other units, so he's easily identifiable. Yeah, as I, rec as I said before, I recommend you actually save his his, his, uh, spare points, unlike me. Well, yeah, you at least save a sense, I should say, because I used to focus here. Now, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what exactly is happening here. I think the thing we're on is heading towards the Earth. I'm not entirely sure exactly what's happening, though. Because from what I see earlier, it looks like this thing is falling towards the earth. So that may be uh, what's happening, where these guys are trying to do it. Anyway. But, as I said before, I'm not entirely too sure on the details. Because I have never seen Gundam Seed Destiny. And as you can see here, they're attacking those guys, but I'm fairly certain that happened earlier in the stage. Now just remember that's you ha that don't defeat Sato before you de um, before you defeat Butcher, because you have to defeat Butcher first, or else the stage will end. Yeah, there's nothing related to the Stella secret in this stage, so you don't have to worry about uh, defeating Stella with Shin or anything like that. And the Zayev points um, are actually directly related to whether Shin will, Shin and uh, the Minerva will actually stay with you. Well, I believe Shin and the Minerva. I know it's at least Shin will actually stay with you during the uh, last bit of the game. And um, you can get enough uh, points where uh, <laughs> you can get the Stella Secret, but Shin will actually not join be with you. I won't go much further than that, I suppose, but uh, we'll, we'll find out what exactly. I, I am going for the Zayef route, though. So in case you're worried about that. No, I mentioned that already, but uh, yeah, I am going through the route. I would have played a lot more defensively during the stage, but I thought that you had to defeat all of these units, which is why I was, you know, counterattacking them, which is why I lost uh, Shin a lot more than I should have. And to get um, the Gundam Marks to uh, Gundam Marks, uh, an extra Gundam Mark to attack in this stage, you have to defeat this unit. You'll get the attack after the stage, but you get a little cutscene for uh, doing it here. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if 
she, if this person stays alive, whether or not you get the, and appears later on in a different stage if you don't uh, kill her now, because uh, she dies. In Alpha, that unit there was, was, was almost completely useless as far as I'm aware. The one Quadro is probably now because you get the was a Hyakushiki. I don't remember how it's pronounced. Like in during, like at the second or third stage, so it's it's, it's kind of interesting, I guess. But I, I suppose it's just to put him in a weaker unit at the beginning of the game. I don't know. The only secrets I can imagine me not getting are the uh, are the secrets to getting some stuff early. Like um, you can get the TFO a bit earlier if you. Uh, do some 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 things on a particular stage later on, um, but yeah, those are the only secrets that I might be a little bit iffy on whether or not I'll actually get them. But uh, we'll see. I'll try. I'll go for them. But if not, I won't like worry about it too much. There's butcher. Yeah, I think as Sato's HP gets lower, he starts his evade, like his overall stats get higher. I think he has some sort of pilot skill that does that. Yeah, this will probably be the hardest stage you'll do for a while. Because the next few stages are primarily story-based, I guess. You could call them that. They're, they're more, uh... There's still stuff to do in them, but it's, it's not like this stage. Where there's a bunch of enemy units. But actually, if you just attack Sato during this, the stage probably wouldn't take too long, but if we're going for the different secrets in this stage, then yeah, the stage is a lot more tougher than it otherwise would be. Oh yeah, there's that's how much HP he has. The combination attack between Koji and uh, Grandizer here will be your friend. So make sure they're next to each other and Butcher. Butcher will actually try to move ahead if you let him. That's Butcher, I believe. I would recommend just going for Butcher if you can, but be a bit careful because, well, he can attack all of your units and they do hurt a little bit, but you should be fine with um, Trust Spirits and whatnot. Trust Spirit recovers and allies uh, HP by 2500. Depends on the game sometimes, it's a percentage, but in this game I believe it's 2500. Um, for those that haven't actually seen much of Z3, if you actually... The squad mechanic returns for that one. It was absent during Z2. But uh, it's, I guess, a bit more streamlined 
instead of uh, three units per squad, it's only two units per squad. And um, I'll explain more of the mechanics in Z3 later, later on. Well, when we actually get to Z3, which won't be for a long time, because we still have the the other Z2 game to get to. I believe I actually do hit him with... Oh no, I remember. I accidentally did. I meant to do sense, but I did focus by accident. I think is what happened. I think I actually miss here. Let's see. Yeah. But I do know that hitting him with a rifle won't actually kill him at that point. So, uh... Yeah. There's that guy down. Well, the feeling of the boss units here might actually give you some good parts, but, uh... Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, you can actually defeat Lila Lila at that point by using an, an attack like I did there, because I did it before I cut, and uh, had a mistake during that, uh, during that uh, footage that I cut. But uh, it's nothing, like I, like I said before, I, I still do get the secret, but it's just, it's just getting an attack a little bit earlier, and at this point, and in this stage, it really doesn't help you that much to have it. But, uh, it's there, I guess. I think I switched to Ray because Shin kept getting shot down, and yeah, for some reason, when I used Ray, he, he kept dodging everything. I don't remember, but uh, something like that. Yeah, I hear those uh, Zaku 2 units attacking the, uh, the Butcher enemies. Anywhere, Lila's down, and we get the event. What might happen is that this event plays out at the end of the stage instead of um, during the middle of it. If you defeat Lila, I think that 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 it. Bleh, bleh, I think that's what happens. But uh, I have no proof of that. But yes, Camille is a new type. She said something along those lines, I'm fairly certain. And uh, Jared kind of screams there in agony, but you know, it's Jared. Who cares about Jared?
Dies are full power. Hooray! I'm not entirely sure what that does, though. It might unlock some attack, but I'm actually not entirely sure what it does. It's there, though. Oh no! Yeah. So one more attack with Athron should finish him off, but as I said already, I don't have any spirits to actually make use of that. If I use Sense, I probably could have finished off during that turn, now that I think about it. I think this is turn 6. Might be turn five. I don't. Know. Oh no! I think this is this is in fact turn six. No, it's not. It's turn five. It's turn five. Cause I I know because I attacked uh, with the Zambot's warship there. I had. I'm, I don't, like I said, I don't know the names of everything here. Um, Zambot's Worship there, I did, a, I did a support attack with it. So yeah, this is turn 5. So yeah, the 6 turns in this stage for the SR point are, is really just so that you can defeat Butcher. Yeah, Butcher doesn't do it because I cut out that footage where uh, I got a game over or had to restart. But Butcher, if you don't surround him like I did right here, I don't surround him fully, but I, I had him where he just went forward and just like ignored us. But in, during, during this uh, particular, during this instance, he uh, just attacked us. So I don't know what exactly triggered that. But um, if you have your units in a similar formation, like I do, then you should be fine. Oh yeah, Ray also had a focus spirit, which is why I switched to him. It was at this point where I knew that all I had to do was defeat Ray. Well, not Ray Sato. So I was. I'm just. I don't really care about fighting the the other units there. I just had a really good chance of hitting them, but it didn't didn't really matter too much.
Oh yeah, just so you guys have a heads up on this, I guess. Um, from what I actually discovered, Setsuko will actually end up piloting uh, Denzel's unit. So, uh... Upgrade Denzel's, uh, Denzel's, Denzel's unit, if you want. I just thought, I just know that because of, uh, I'm recording much more into the stage. I thought Setsuko kept her unit, but it makes sense that she would uh, get Denzel's unit because it is, in terms of, uh, overall, it, ha it has a mix of range. It's not as, uh, it can attack close range and long range. There's a decent amount of damage between the, uh, between those two ranges. Jesus Christ, Butcher and Butcher has a weird, weird, weird voice. Can't get over it. And just for flare points, I guess, I defeat uh, Butcher here with Zambot's best attack. I don't think you guys, guys were actually able to see it in the last stage, because I think that footage got cut out. I forget if I actually used that attack in the re-recording at the end of that stage. Either way, here it is. Yeah, Butcher's screen is kind of weird. It's original, I'll give it that much. Either way, Butcher has been defeated, so all we need to do is defeat Saddle to finish the stage and get the SR point. Yeah, this is where I would recommend just quick saving it so you don't have to redo the entire stage over again. And I got lucky and was able to finish him off. Well, actually hit him. And there he goes. And we get the Azar point. Hooray. Oh, what's happening? Oh no. Explosions. Whoa. Now we're somewhere in North America. Now we're in space. But yeah, that's that's why I said that it looks like that thing that we were fighting on is falling towards Earth. Not entirely sure if the entire issue is actually resolved, though. But anyway, this is the end of the stage, so I'll see you guys again next time, whenever that is. Bye!